quickly get both of your thoughts on this, though. Um, this is the new European Super League that, look, we've been hearing about these Super Leagues, it feels like, for the last sort of 10, 15 years. This one, though, is starting to gather pace and starting to really get some legs. Five English clubs have signed up to this breakaway European Super League. Um, Manchester United, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea and Tottenham. Uh, Man City are in discussions to do that as well. I will quickly read out a Premier League statement. They have released a statement about it before we get your thoughts on it. I'll, I'll read this as quickly as possible. The Premier League condemns any proposal that attacks the principles of open competition and sporting merit, which are at the heart of the, the domestic and European football pyramid. Our fans of any club in England and across Europe can currently dream that their team may climb to the top and play against the best. We believe that concept of a European Super League would destroy this dream. The Premier League is proud to run a competitive and compelling football competition that has made it the most widely watched league in the world. Our success has enabled us to make an unrivaled financial contribution to the domestic football pyramid. There is a bit more, but kind of along those lines, Perry. Um, what do you make of this? Because this is now getting a bit more, as I said, a bit more steam than ones we've heard in the past. Teams have signed up. Uh, this is in... This isn't, in a way, competition to what UEFA are trying to do and change the Champions League format. They're like, no, we don't want it. We want to do our own thing. Thoughts? Just greed. Just pure greed. It's, it's, like, it, really. it's like the the Masons like and the Mafia put together. It's just like, <laughs> no, it is to keep everybody off. You're saying yeah. it's the, the new idea of these break at the five clubs is it's 15 permanent yeah. teams that's, in their competition. It. 15 permanent. Doesn't, doesn't no, matter. No relegation, no promotion. Yeah. That's it. Right, yeah. so it doesn't matter if you come, yeah. like, ask for having a really poor season mm -hmm. could end up 10th or 9th yeah, if they're matter. one of the big clubs but they're going to be in it they're going to be in it right yeah. so it all should always be a meritocracy it should be about how good you are and how mm -hmm. much talent you have so they're all they're trying to do is protect themselves and there's apparently room for five other clubs who get there by being good yeah this is nothing about or, by, or by being bought by an oil magnet and becoming massive no, let's be honest when it used to be we, we knew it when we was kids as the european cup right yeah, it yeah. was the champions playing against the champions from mm. every other country. Yep. And you could legitimately say, even though it's a cup competition, you are the best team because it's champions Facts. of champions. Yeah. Then they wanted to dilute it to protect the bigger clubs and go into yep. third place, fourth place on it for money, for TV money. That's mm -hmm. why they did that. Now they're thinking, how, how else can we protect ourselves? So the likes of Sevilla or uh, Atalanta, who've mm. been brilliant in the Champions League yeah. this year, they have no chance. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And on the other side of it, with UEFA's proposal, right, this, this is their idea, right? Mm. So it's a 36-team league, right, what they're going to change it to. You play 10 games in that. You don't, necessarily, you don't play every You just play 10 games in that league. Positions 1 to 8 go through to the last 16. And then it's uh, 9 to 24, then play off, right, 8 games, mm. one-off games to get into the last 16. So the way that they're going to do it, in theory, you could come 24th in a 36-team league, and you still go forward and yeah. win, be champions. <laughs> nonsense, isn't it? Complete it, nonsense. Yeah. Both Football of them, fans, to be fair then, to be fair to this breakaway, look, both of them are ridiculous. Both of them are ridiculous. Yes, right. That, that's it, both so of them are ridiculous. It's who is the least ridiculous, right? You go, but I think real football fans, in the end, will just get the ump with it. Yeah, and there yeah, is, yeah. because without fans, we've, like the Premier League. We've seen it. Right, really? Every our football is everything about, fa away fans especially, right, mm -hmm. makes the atmosphere. Of course. Right? Yeah. This is nonsense. Is an absolute Nonsense. Coley, um, as I said at the top, this isn't the first we've heard of this, right? These European Super Leagues and these powerhouse leagues have been spoken about for a few years now. Again, though, this one does sound a bit more serious than the others. What's your take on it? What's your thoughts? Well, to be fair, I, I can't go with everything Perry just said. Mm. No, I, I, I don't think I can add towards that, to be brutally honest. My question is, why? Yeah, why? That's, that's, that's the million-dollar question. Why? Well, that's, I, no, that's why. Millions of that, dollars. That, that's, that is that is right, the answer, right? And by the way, that's... Well, no, we're talking billions, billions of dollars well, that's, now. Coley, you played for the biggest club in the country, Man United, mm. right? I played for Arsenal. So really, we could be sitting here going, well, you know, it's going to protect our club. So, right. But as football fans, you go, it's no, it, right. it should be on how good you are, mm. not your history and what you've won before yeah. and how big a club you are. It, it, that's, that's not sport, mm. is it? That's not, that's not competition. This, 